Donald Trump saying no on Nikki, probably not, unlikely on Ron DeSantis. So who else is out there? A report today, also in Daily Mail. I can't believe I'm bringing you so much Daily Mail today, but you know, it's a, it's a good publication. They've got an exclusive. They said that all the people within the inner circle are looking at Vivek and saying that Vivek Ramaswamy, he's really a top runner there for a potential VP. You've also got Tim Scott. Congratulations to Tim. He just got engaged. Congratulations, Tim Scott. Tucker Carlson apparently is up there. We're told that Melania likes him. And Ben Carson tying it number third. This is actually a poll. This is a poll from New Hampshire. But again, Vivek is the top choice out of New Hampshire. And I'm hearing internally within circles that people like him there as well. The question then becomes, who's the right fit? Other names that have circulated. Elise Stefanik, you know, she's the Harvard girl who took down the Harvard lady. I don't mean to say girl and lady, both women. There we go. <laughs> anyway, Elise Stefanik, she went to Harvard, and she's a heck of a lot smarter than uh, the woman who was then president of the university, and she really quite, uh, quite wonderfully exposed the extraordinary bias and frankly discriminatory nature, if you ask me, of these Ivy League presidents, Claudine Gay from Harvard being one of them. So Elise Stefanik is being talked about, young, out of New York. I mentioned Byron, but again, he's Florida and there's some rule, you know, you can't have two people from Florida. Carrie Lake has been discussed. I don't think it's gonna happen for the same reason I don't think Tucker Carlson's gonna happen. So this is interesting. I'm gonna share with you a little secret. You see, and I can say this as like a TV person, it's kind of like when you have two big personalities anchoring the same show. Didn't they used to do like a Saturday Night Live skit on that or something, right? You know, you get these two big personalities and it's a lot to handle. Any television producer can tell you this. And so the single anchor method, especially at night, is one that is really adhered to in part because it just keeps everybody sane. Right? Can you imagine you have these two big personalities and everybody wants all the attention, et cetera, et cetera, and they're sucking all the oxygen out of the room. And it, while Carrie Lake will do a tremendous job, I am sure, campaigning for Donald Trump, while Tucker Carlson is a brave guy and has gone through a lot getting booted out of Fox, uh, another conversation for another time. I know how that feels. Listen, he also is a very big personality. And I think because of that, it's hard for these big personalities to play second fiddle. And it's kind of hard for Donald Trump. Now, I could be wrong. He may decide that Tucker is a good way to go. Carrie hasn't won anything yet, so she's a little bit unproven. Tucker has not been in politics, but, you know, smart guy and clearly, totally understands the media. Again, though, I, it's a question of given the personality, given the star quality, is it too much in that VP position? Do you want somebody who's a little bit more in the box? And Tim Scott fits that. Ben Carson fits that. Byron Donaldson fits that. Elise Stefanik fits that. Ramaswamy, maybe he doesn't fit that, right? <laughs> I mean, Ramaswamy, big personality as well. He tells it like it is. It's what I like about him. He's been on this program. I, I noticed him a few years back when he came out with his book on ESG, criticizing it. Vivek Ramaswamy, though, again, big personality. So I could see him as a cabinet member. For sure. For sure. I could see all these people in the cabinet. We shall see.